In the meantime, Cleo Green is outside of a smoke shop. Cleo, how does raising the smoking age help teens for those who are questioning this? Yeah, we're going to see what happens when it comes to this. You know, I'm really curious to see how people uh, vote in that poll because 11 senators voted against it. I'm standing right outside of Puff and Stuff, and it's a novelty smoke shop. I mean, spots like this are a dime a dozen. But if this bill passes in the House, well, if you're not 21 years old, you won't be able to buy anything inside of it. And that goes for those e-cigarettes, which are pretty popular with teens. OK, so let's bring up this video here. It's called Senate Bill 21, and Senator Joanne Huffman from Houston is behind it. So opponents say Texas considers someone to be an adult at the age of 18, so they should be able to smoke. Well, Senator Huffman, she's definitely aware of that, but she wants to protect young adults from an addictive behavior. So moms and dads, listen up here. If smoking continues at the current rate among youth in this country, one in every 13 young people under the age of 18 could die from a smoking-related illness, and that's actually according to a new CDC report. So Huffman, uh, she did add one amendment to this bill. If you're actually active duty military and you're under the age of 21, you'll be able to buy tobacco products. All you got to do is show your military ID. So we'll see what happens. This bill still needs to pass in the House first. I'll send it back to you guys.